welcome kindreds, it's Jessica the Story Witch and we are on letter Q of the A to Z of Modern Witchcraft series that I'm making here on my channel and letter Q is for quiet interestingly not the same as silence there are very few places in this world that we live in which are truly silent and actually I quite enjoy that because I like that there are different sounds just while I'm sitting here right now I can hear I can hear there's a helicopter outside I can hear the pigeon up on the roof <laughs> He's been there most of the day today. I can hear very gently the herbs in the top of my candle kind of fizzing a little bit so I hope they're not going to catch on fire. I probably wouldn't have a very quiet reaction to that. I can also hear the trees a little bit outside too. What can you hear? where you are right now. Perhaps you can hear people talking, animals, nature sounds, air conditioning unit. Quiet is, for me, like food. I need to have even if it is literally just for a couple of minutes each day, quiet. It's nourishing. And it's also quite difficult to achieve. Now my children are a little bit older, I am able to kind of hide myself away for a few moments and, and soak up some quiet but also I don't allow myself it sometimes because it's not glamorous it's not engaging it can leave space for things to surface that we would rather not engage with and so it can be easier to spend our time scrolling Instagram or watching YouTube or watching TV or even reading a book. It's uncomfortable often at first, especially the longer you sit to really, it's uncomfortable to be quiet in a society where noise is good for drowning out any of the things that are bubbling up within us. But if we don't take that quiet time and if we don't address those bubbling issues and feelings and not all of those will be bad things sometimes they'll be surprising things and sometimes they will be euphoric feelings or fascinating thoughts that you didn't even know you had within you but unless we can cultivate a quiet time ideally every day we don't get a chance to hear that wisdom of ourselves. And so this video is an invitation to you to set yourself some quiet time. Perhaps you already do that. Perhaps you already have a meditation practice and that is a wonderful, wonderful thing and I would definitely recommend 
a regular meditation practice. But I would say that that is not the same as quiet contemplation time. Meditation is often kind of focused in a way, perhaps on the breath, perhaps on a visualization, perhaps on path working. Whereas the kind of quiet time that I'm talking about is, it's, it's, it is allowing yourself chance to tune in to you with no expectations and with no, no limitations. Just seeing what is, noticing what is. How, you know, so often people will say, how are you? And we'll be like, oh yeah, fine. But you know, do we, do we really even know? How, how are you really? Unless we spend time checking in with ourselves, or certainly for me, I mean, I'm, I, I'm talking as if I'm talking for you and I'm sorry for that because perhaps you don't need this. But I know for me that I need this. I need, I need that time to, to listen to myself. And maybe you do too. And the longer you sit, like I said, in, in kind of doing nothing, <laughs> in kind of quiet contemplation, perhaps with a candle, perhaps with incense, perhaps with a notebook by the side of you for anything that pops up and you want to jot down. The longer you sit, the more uncomfortable it can get quite often. So maybe give it a try if you're not doing it already and let me know how it goes. Warmest, warmest blessings. And I will see you very soon. Mm, da, 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 da.